What's up YouTube? Jeff, your style OG. And on today's video, we're gonna discuss the 11 worst style mistakes us guys make during the summer. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern, discussing various men's lifestyle topics, such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe, tap that notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends, like Mike Barrel, salute. Now there's a wise cliche that goes, it's just as important to know what not to do as it is to know what to do. And I wholeheartedly agree, especially when it comes to style. And although we're dressing more casually in the summer, it's just as easy to make mistakes during the hot weather as it is year round. And that's what I wanna help you with on today's video. On today's video, I've got 11 style mistakes us guys often make during the summer and how you can avoid and correct them. So without any further delay, let's hop right into it. Now, first up on the list of the worst style mistakes for the summer is one you hear from me and any other source you get your style information from. That's not to wear flip-flops unless you're at the beach or at the pool. But I'm gonna broaden a little bit. I want to make sure you're not wearing the wrong slip-ons, period. Because I understand the appeal of flip-flops. They're comfortable, you just slip them on and go. But you can still wear slip-ons during the hot weather, just put the flip-flops to the side. All you need to do is make a wiser choice. Want to wear slip-ons during the summer? Think about some loafers, some espadrilles, some driving shoes, even some slip-on sneakers. That way you have the comfort and ease of a slip-on, but you're much more stylish than showing your toes in those ratty flip-flops. Make wise slip-on choices this summer and save the flip-flops for the beach or the pool. Now next up, we're gonna talk about a summer style mistake I have to admit, I have to keep working on. Stop relying on wearing jeans so much during the summer. Now I get it, jeans are a no-brainer, you just throw them on and go. But they just don't work in the hottest of weather. They're non-breathable, they're too heavy, they're just gonna make you overheat and be uncomfortable during the summer. Instead, make some different choices. Wear some linen pants. Throw on my favorite pair of pants, some chinos. Or if you really have to wear jeans, throw on some light wash jeans. That dark denim is gonna attract way too much heat. Now one of the main reasons you wanna stray away from jeans as much as possible during the summer, because you're going to sweat. And that segues nicely into my next style mistake, not making sure you have separate gym clothes. Now this is a no-no throughout the year, but it's a bigger problem during the summer. The sweat and odor that builds up in your gym clothes, you don't wanna just throw them back on and wear them throughout the day. And guys often make this mistake throughout the summer because you're rocking t-shirts, you're rocking shorts, and they'll use their gym clothes and their regular clothes interchangeably. Your gym clothes are naturally gonna get even sweatier and smell worse during the summer. Don't make the mistake of incorporating them into your regular casual wear. I recommend this throughout the year, but especially during the summer, have separate gym clothes and casual clothes. Now a recurring theme you'll notice throughout today's video, we're trying to manage sweat, odor, and moisture. A mistake a lot of guys make that prevents them from managing it is not incorporating performance fabrics during the summer. Performance fabrics are a godsend. They're moisture wicking, they're breathable, they're stretchy. These newer synthetic fibers help you manage the heat throughout the summer. And you'll easily find performance fabrics from any of your favorite brands nowadays. They're all incorporating it. Performance fabrics are made of synthetic fibers such as polyester, rayon, and others that, like I said, breathe with you, wick away moisture, and reduce odor. All things we're trying to work on during the hot weather. So if you want to look good and stay cool, incorporate performance fabrics into your wardrobe. Now, if you take a look at this polo I have on today, it's a two for one to make sure I'm not making summer mistakes. First off, it's made of performance stretch, and it prevents me from making our next mistake, not incorporating color. Now, this is a big problem, especially for fellas, and I'm one that can be guilty of it. I love my gray, my navy, and my black throughout the year, but during the summer, please bring in some color. And one of the ways I like to do it that makes me feel comfortable I wear a style of clothing I'm already comfortable with, like a polo, 
and wear some color in that item. That way I'm not trying a new item and new color at the same time. And besides, those dark colors most of us wear throughout the year attract more sun and heat and sweat. You should experiment more during the summer anyway. Bring in some color, it'll brighten things up. Now because it's the summertime and we're wearing less and less clothes and more casual clothing, a big mistake you can make during the summer is ignoring and forgetting your accessories. Now accessories are just that final detail throughout the year. But like I said, because you're wearing less clothing, your accessories stand out even more. It's a way to add some personality to what might otherwise be a boring look. Whether we're talking about a watch, a necklace, a ring, or of course, your favorite pair of sunglasses. You don't want to forget your accessories during the summer. They're a great important final piece to a look throughout the year, but I think they're even more important during the summer. Don't ignore or forget your accessories. Speaking of accessories, brings us to our next summer style mistake. That's wearing the wrong sunglasses. Now, as I mentioned in the last tip, I definitely want you wearing shades throughout the summer. I just want you to pick the right ones. The most important thing, not every style of sunglasses fits every face shape. That's the first thing you wanna get right. Make sure you try different styles of sunglasses on to make sure they fit your face the best. If you need some help with picking the right sunglasses for your face shape, I did a video a while back to help you do that. I'll leave a link in the description for your viewing pleasure. But on top of that, I also wanna caution you not to wear black sunglasses all the time during the summer. During the hot weather, they can come off very stark. I suggest trying some brown, some tortoise, anything to give yourself a break from black sunglasses all the time. So remember, you wanna wear shades during the summer, just pick the right ones. Next up, we have another wrong choice a lot of guys make during the summer. That's picking the wrong shorts. Now I know shorts are an essential part of a man's wardrobe during the summer, especially as the temperature rises and rises but you wanna make sure you make the right selection. First off, a lot of guys pick the wrong length of shorts. Most of the time, too long. Easy guy to make sure you have the right length of shorts, try an inch or two above the knee. And a couple of stylish shorts you might wanna stray away from if you wanna be seen as stylish. No cargo shorts and no pleated shorts. Now you can wear cargos and pleated shorts if you want to, but do so at your own risk. An easy no-brainer style of shorts Grab yourself a pair of flat front shorts. Now next up is something I've been recommending since I started the channel, and I see a lot of guys incorporating it, but a lot more need to. Don't make the mistake of not bringing in no-show socks, especially during the summer. Now I know a lot of guys like the sockless look or just like to go sockless, period. A big problem with that, the odor and the sweat. The easiest workaround for that Start wearing no-show socks. No odor, no sweat, but still a sockless look. Wearing no-show socks actually helps your shoes and sneakers last longer. One of the easiest ways to break down your precious shoes, the moisture from the sweat. So save your shoes and your feet from odor, incorporate no-show socks. Now next up is a mistake that guys make during the summer when they have no choice but to wear a suit jacket or a blazer is picking the wrong suit jackets or blazers. What you wanna do is during the summer, not wear your typical year-round wool. You wanna wear jackets made of linen, cotton, or lightweight tropical wool. Still giving you that dressy look, but you won't overheat as easily. And another tip I recommend all the time, try what's called an unstructured blazer or sports jacket. An unstructured jacket won't have all the lining and the padding to overheat you but still give you a dressier look. So for the times when you still have to throw on that sports jacket or a blazer, but you don't wanna burn up too much, pick a linen one, a cotton one, a lightweight wool, and also incorporate unstructured blazers. Now next up, I wanna talk about a summer mistake guys often make when it comes to grooming. That's wearing the wrong cologne. Now, first off, if you're wearing cologne at all, I wanna congratulate you, you're doing better than 80% of the guys. But I wanna make sure you're wearing the right cologne for the hot weather. 
Now, as the temperature rises, you want to put away your heavier, woodsier, muskier cologne. You want to opt for fragrances that are lighter, brighter, crisper, maybe a little citrusy. These lighter, brighter fragrances are going to be much more seasonably appropriate. Put away the warm, woodsy ones, incorporate lighter, brighter ones. Now, if you need any help picking a good summer cologne, I recently did a list for my top summer colognes for this year. I'll leave a link in the description for your viewing pleasure. So remember, yes, I want you wearing fragrances throughout the summer. I just want you to wear the right one. Now, as you can see, although we're wearing more relaxed and casual clothing during the summer, you still can make some style mistakes. But if you pay attention to the 11 we talked about in today's video, you'll be well on your way to an error-free summer style season. Now, of course, as always, I love to have your input. Let the Stylogy family know in the comment section some style faux pas you see guys making during the summer.